Hey besties, so what I'm going to be doing today is a Skittles wrap and I'm going to just go ahead and include the trial size bag that you get from the Dollar Tree. You get six in one uh, bag for a dollar. I'm doing this because you know Halloween is coming up and um, I think this is probably a good option for giving away to kids. Um, so in case you wanted to wrap them for like a school um, classroom stuff like that then you'll have these measurements as well so that is why I'm including them on the same video so I am going to use HP presentation paper to print this out this will be my first time pretty much using this brand of paper so I don't even know how it works yet um, but I'm gonna try it today I will go ahead and get into the measurements for this and then we will go ahead and get this printed and assembled. I will put one of them together because it's pretty much the same design for both of them. I just used a different background for um, each one. So I will go ahead and um, give you guys measurements for the small trial size bag. You're gonna you're looking at 3.15 by 6.15. And then for your large Skittle, you're looking at 7 inches by 6.5. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is a square. And I'm going to do that to a width of 7 inches and then a height of 6.5. So remember to click your unlock or it's not going to allow you to make that change. Okay. Go here to my control panel. I'm going to go to print and then pattern. And then I will choose this one right here. Okay, so sometimes it gives you like this like line or something like that. You can always edit your paper. So let's say you want to make it larger. I want to, I think I did make mine um, pretty big, but I'll bring that down a little bit, like maybe to the middle. Or if you want little tiny, tiny um, dots, you can do that. But this is how you would... Um, get that line off of your page. Somebody asked me that in another video, but here is the visual of it, um, how to get that line off of your page. Okay, so this is um, what I'm gonna use, and then I will add in the rest of my clip art. Okay, I am doing a font called uh, Funny and Cute, and I am going to add my daughter's name here. Uh, I'm also going to add a pattern to her name. So you just do the same thing. Go here, go to print, go to pattern, and then I'll choose that one. And then I will go here to edit and I'm going to make my dots bigger. Okay, so this is pretty much all that I did for my wrapper. I will go ahead and flatten this. I'm gonna flatten and then I will go ahead and get this printed. Let me just add in my other one here.
So I basically went around on three sides and then I'm just going to give myself a little fold so I know how far to go. Okay, so you see how I have it like this? And I'm just gonna fold this down. And you're welcome to do like nutrition facts or barcode or you know, anything like that. Okay, so this is the Skittles wrap. And I did make it a little longer so that when I, if I decided to use my uh, shears to cut it, it would not uh, actually cut open my package. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this. Okay, so this is the larger one. This is how the small one looks. So I just wanted to show you guys the paper that I'm using. It is um, inkjet paper, 100 sheets, and it's 32 pounds. So pretty, pretty thick and durable. Um, this is how it came out color-wise, which I think is really amazing how, how vibrant the colors are. And then this is the smaller ones right here. Yeah, the color is amazing with this paper. Um, it is matte, and I will be trying out a glossy one probably on something next week. It is HP as well, so you'll see how that looks. But yeah, this is some really good paper.